What is going on guys? Welcome back to DS Asylum. I'm your warden Dimitri Strain and today we are back with part two of tags characters should have if we ignore game balance. Now, as we get started into this video, I do want to go over one that a lot of people think should exist and I'm going to explain to you why it doesn't. So a great deal of people believe Kefla should have the powerful opponent tag. She does not have that. And people uh, think that she should. I'm going to explain why she doesn't. Um, so yes, if we go off of what she did in the anime, she fought Ultra Instinct Goku. That is, you know, powerful opponent worthy. However, in the manga, not only did Kefla not fight Ultra Instinct Goku, she didn't fight Goku at all. She fought and lost to Gohan. So that's why she doesn't have the powerful opponent tag because in the original source material, being the manga, she never even fought Goku. And pretty much the universal rule for powerful opponent is you had to have fought Goku in some capacity. I'm pretty sure every single one of them have fought Goku or at least some, you know, extremely powerful being. Like, does Super Buu have the powerful opponent tag? Because if he does, then I guess Gotenks is powerful enough to warrant that. But let me just see. I don't... Yeah, he does. So, Super Buu never fought Goku. However, he did fight Gotenks, and that's a fusion. Even though Gotenks is not as strong as, you know, Vegito or anything... It's still a fusion, so it qualifies him as powerful opponent. And then uh, the Extreme 17 and 18 also have that tag because they were definitely very powerful. I mean, they pretty much nearly destroyed the entirety of Trunks' future. So I'm, I, I think that on its own qualifies them as powerful opponents. But for the most part, um, a lot of these characters have the tag because they've had some interaction with Goku. Um, but usually, characters that have only ever fought, you know, Gohan or non-fusion don't necessarily have that tag. And Kefla doesn't have it because she not only f fought Gohan in the manga, but she also lost. Maybe if she had beaten Gohan, she would have gotten the tag, but she didn't. She lost. So that is why... Kefla does not have it, and another one that people think should have the powerful opponent tag, we go over to Vegeta family here, is Mr. Majin Vegeta over here. Um, he does not have the powerful opponent tag, and the reason he doesn't have it is for the same reason why the red Dragon Ball Super Broly Frieza does not have it, and that's this specific Vegeta is supposed to be the one that fought Boo not the one that fought Goku. Even though he does have the unique ability against Goku characters, I believe it's this one right here. Yeah, 40% damage inflicted against character Goku. His main uh, scene that this unit is from is the final explosion. And at that point, Goku had already been knocked out by Vegeta. He was fighting Boo, not Goku. That is why he doesn't. I feel like you could argue that he should still have it simply because he still has the um, the uh, Goku unique ability, the damage against Goku characters. So that would imply that he's also supposed to be the Vegeta that fought Goku. So you can argue powerful opponent, but I believe the reason why is because the actual scene that this Vegeta is based off of had no interaction with Goku. It was Boo. He was fighting for the heroes, not against them. And the same goes for the Red Frieza, who was definitely not on Goku and Vegeta's side, but was not a threat to them either. He was fighting Broly, just like Goku and Vegeta were. So, he didn't get the powerful opponent tag. You have to actually be the antagonist in order to be, or, uh, in order to have the powerful opponent tag. And at this point, at the point of the final explosion, Vegeta was not the antagonist. He was very much a member of the protagonist's group. So that is why those two units do not have the tag. Again, I do see the argument for Vegeta, 
but Kefla probably shouldn't have it. I wouldn't be upset if she did. Um, I do think she should simply because more people watch the anime than read the manga. So it would make people a lot more familiar. Or they, they'd be taking source, source material that people are a lot more familiar with uh, to give her the powerful opponent tag. But I do understand why she doesn't. The original source material does not make her a powerful opponent. But I can definitely see the argument for Vegeta. But let's go ahead and talk about units that do not have tags that they most definitely should. Alright, we're going to be taking a look at pretty much every single Vegeta that does not have the Vegeta family tag. It irks the hell out of me that any Vegeta before the Android Saga does not have that tag because apparently Bulma makes Vegeta family Vegeta family, not Vegeta. How the hell does that work? How the hell does Bulma make Vegeta family Vegeta family, not Vegeta? It's his fucking name. <laughs> if, if it was like, it was like Briefs family, right? Because that's Bulma's last name, Bulma Briefs. If it, was, if it was the Briefs family tag, then sure, yeah, no Vegeta before the Android Saga would have that tag. But it's Vegeta that makes Vegeta family. What the hell are you going to do if you ever put King Vegeta in the game? You're just going to not give him the tag even though he's Vegeta's father? It's not like the Goku situation where Son Goku is not the same name that Bardock gave him. Kakarot is, is the real name that Bardock gave him. So you can't give Bardock the Sun family tag. He has no relation to Son Gohan, Grandpa Gohan. But... King Vegeta most definitely has a relation to Prince Vegeta and the Vegeta family. He is the Vegeta family. Well, technically his dad, because I, I think I think Prince Vegeta is like the third Vegeta or some shit. So technically his dad, Vegeta's grandfather, is Vegeta family. But like how? How the hell, <laughs> how the hell can you have Vegeta family without Vegeta? He is Vegeta family. Prince Vegeta, Vegeta family. King Vegeta, Vegeta family. Whatever the hell distinction the other, the Vegeta before that had. Maybe he, maybe he was Emperor Vegeta. I don't fucking know. But all of them would have the Vegeta family tag because they're all Vegeta family. It's not Bulma's family, it's Vegeta's family. If you're going to make this distinction, then the family should not be called Vegeta family. It should be called Briefs family. That doesn't sound as cool, but if your distinction is Vegeta needs to be married to have the tag, it should be Bulma's last name. It should not be Vegeta's name because that makes no fucking sense. It makes no sense that the Saiyan Saga Vegeta does not have the Vegeta family tag just because he's not married. I mean, hell. Again, what the fuck are you gonna do when you add King Vegeta? Are you just never gonna add King Vegeta? Is that it? Are we just gonna never get that unit so that you don't have to, you know, jump into that fucking fire? <laughs> Like, what? What What? What was the purpose? Just make it the Bulma family tag if, you're, if you want to make that distinction. It shouldn't be called Vegeta family if Vegeta isn't what makes it the family. All right, this one doesn't necessarily matter. Like, in, in, in reality, nothing really changes if these characters have this tag. I mean, it kind of does, because again, if we ignore game balance, like, it, it'll really break the game. But how come Vegito, Gogeta, and Gotenks don't have both the Sun Family and Vegeta Family tags? They are literally the combination of Goku and Vegeta and Goten and Trunks, respectively. Goku and Goten have the Sun Family tag. Vegeta and Trunks have the Vegeta Family tags. Well, most Vegetas. <laughs> Yet they don't have both when they fuse. Vegito is technically still the father of both Goten and Trunks. When Goku and Vegeta fuse, 
Goten and Trunks become brothers. <laughs> they become fucking stepbrothers when <laughs> their dads fuse because they're, they're, they, they become one person. They become one person that should have both of those tags because Vegito, technically speaking, Vegito is the biological father of both Goten and Trunks. So why does he not have both the Sun family and Vegeta family tags? And the same goes for, um, for Gogeta. He is technically the biological father of both Goten and Trunks. And then Gotenks would be the son of both Goku and Vegeta. That sounds weird, but they are. <laughs> Gotenks is the love child of Goku and Vegeta. Let your fan fiction run wild. But, <laughs> I mean, like, when you think about it, it makes sense, doesn't it? I, it, it means nothing. There's no real reason why they would need to have those tags. But when you think about it, doesn't it kind of make sense? Doesn't it just kind of make sense that they would have those tags? Because it's not like Goku and Vegeta just cease to exist. They still exist in the body of Vegito and Gogeta. So it's like, I don't know. Again, it doesn't really matter. If anything, them having those tags would do nothing but break the game even more. But you can't tell me it doesn't make sense. Alright, this one is again one that really doesn't matter. But um, can someone explain to me what in the goddamn is the difference between a youth and a kid? What, what's the fucking difference here? Because you've got Kid Gohan... You've got Youth Gohan, you've got Teen Gohan, and then you've got, what, is this one adult? No, it's just Ultimate Gohan. Where, where, where's an adult Gohan? You an adult? There you go, Adult Gohan. What the fuck is Youth? <laughs> what, what the fuck is Youth? Why doesn't he just have the kids tag? Like, realistically, why, why the hell doesn't this Gohan just have the goddamn kids tag? What the fuck is a youth? If not a if not a child or a teenager, then what in the fuck is a youth? <laughs> if not a child, teenager or young adult, what is it? It's just some weird distinction they have to make because of how different Gohan looks from the age of 7 to 11. <laughs> His look changes so drastically between all between all of the time jumps like Gohan between the Frieza saga and the Cell saga looks completely different and then Gohan from the Cell saga to the Boo saga looks completely different and so they they need a term to justify the fact that it looks like three different fucking characters so they just slap this weird youth tag onto him what the fuck is youth youth means child that is what a youth is. It is a child. He should just have the kids tag. This is fucking Kid Gohan. That is what that is. This bastard, this this transforming bastard right here, that's a youth Gohan. Look at him. Look at him flashing. Look at him flashing. There he is. This Super Saiyan 2 right here, he's a child. I don't want to hear any of your preteen nonsense. Because a preteen would still be classified as its own thing. Not youth. <laughs> what the fuck is youth? It makes no sense. <laughs> Though realistically, it doesn't fucking matter, right? Like, the kids tag does not exist. Like, or the, the tag exists, but the kids team does not exist. I think there's only like one unit in the entire... Actually, I don't think there are any units in the entirety of Dragon Ball Legends that buffs kids with their Z ability. And if there is, it's some obscure extreme unit that can't even be used. So, and I think the only unit in the game that has a unique ability for the kids tag is Young Nappa. He gives uh, damage buffs to Vegeta and kids characters, which baffles me how young Nappa's been out for over a year 
and we still don't have a kid Vegeta, even though he was specifically designed to be run with a kid Vegeta. How the fuck? <laughs> I, I just don't understand just why. But that was part two of tags characters should have if we ignore game balance. Uh, if there are any more that you want me to cover, leave them in the comments down below. But if you enjoyed this video, do make sure to hit that like button, subscribe if you haven't already, hit that join button if you can, it really does help the channel out. All the links you could ever want are in the description down below, and I will see all of you inmates back here at the Asylum for the next video. Peace.